Ken Foster. Uh, Ken Foster, University of Pennsylvania. My understanding is that to um, raise the core temperature of somebody with normal thermal reg regulation by one degree centigrade takes a fair amount of work. Um, you have to overcome a thermal regulatory response, and this would produce significant physiological effects. Given that, would you comment on the advisability of using a, an endpoint in the limits of a one degree core temperature rise as the basis for a limit? Because it seems at that point you're talking about fairly significant thermal regulatory effects on the person. Well, uh, this is this is a, a, a very good observation because uh, core temperature has uh, um, a very common characteristics character, character, characteristic uh, that is that has a very low response. So by the time that core temperature rises by one degree. Even if we stop what we're doing right there, if we expose someone to EMF, for example, until core temperature rises by one degree, and we st immediately stop the stimulus, core, temp core temperature will keep rising for quite a while more. Core temperature uh, uh, has uh, this, this, this delay, and, uh, and as a result, this is why we see that, the, that thermal regulation is mainly driven by skin temperature. And the reason why this delay is there probably has to do with, with uh, cardiovascular changes. So what happens is when we are exposed to the heat, as I said before, uh, the blood is shifted to the periphery. And all the attention is shifted to the periphery. And as a result, there's not a lot of focus on what's happening inside. And uh, if we, I, I have the sense that although one degree temperature is, core temperature is not, uh, I, I think it could be, it could be a safe limit to set. However, we should definitely consider conditions, uh, first of all, the fact that core temperature has a major delay uh, in what we see, and uh, um, also the fact that there are many conditions related to uh, shifts in, 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 in blood flow and uh, uh, aging and uh, uh, pathological conditions such as diabetes that do not allow us to depend on core temperature that much. So it has, as, as a variable, as an index, it has a lot of limitations. So it could be safer to set it to be more conservative because of these main limitations. 